Let's enter this underground dungeon. Take out the statue in the middle of the room that shoots lasers. Can't get to the door switch because it's blocked by pillars of fire. Fight the enemy. What's up here? Oh look! A hidden switch! Door switch! Alright, what are we playing today? Let's try Star Fox 2. Uh, whoa! Holy cow! Oh, we got him! I am now expecting this game to be Star Wars. You had better be Star Wars, game. I always play the easiest mode available in these types of games. Ooh, new characters. Mew or Faye? Who am I kidding? I'm gonna pick Fox and Falco every time. Good luck. What? 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 It's time for strategy! First, I need to take out the little guys so they don't attack Corneria. But first, I need to take out the big guys so they don't launch more little guys. All range mode. Stay on target. Stay on target. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now where to? Planet? No. Battle Carrier. Yes. Flying your little ship into a big ship is absolutely my favorite Star Fox trope. So you can hit select and turn into ridiculous chicken legs. Hey, <laughs> look at him go! What's this guy doing? We've got a spaceship on blocks over here. Oh, I must be in the launch bay. I love these little details. This stationary object is no match for my circle strafe. <laughs> now what? Do I intercept this missile? I don't even think I could get there in time. All right, Corneria, you're going to have to take one for the team. I'm moving on. Wolf, you fiend, get back here! Whoa, look out! I swear, officer, that asteroid came out of nowhere. Is it spawning asteroids in my face because this battle happened to occur in the asteroid belt on the map? That's a nice touch. It's Andros, I guess. And the galaxy is once again safe from a big floating head with a weird cube inside. Let's give hard mode a try. Oh no, it's algae, apparently. Lots of stuff going on here. Better stop this missile first. Can I make it? Yeah! Take that, missiles! <laughs> what? Star Wolf can catch up while you're fighting something else? This is crazy. Satellite has been overrun. I don't even know what that means. Take that, Leon, if that is your real name. All right, better go check out that satellite. Oh no, whoops. Oh, this is close. Almost got him. Wait, come back. Enemy out of range? What the heck is that? I gotta go back to my ship for repairs, but... Uh, I'm going for it! Now that is a big cannon. Uh-oh, that doesn't look good. Oh no, bad things are happening. Circle strafe like your life depends on it! Circle strafe! Whoa, this really is Star Wars. Good job, game. Guess we'll have to try that again. And now I appear to be playing Lethal Lava Land. Yeah. Can I make this jump? No. Long jump! Wahoo! I have never wanted anything as badly as I want to land on this rotating platform. No. But wait! Aw. Got it! Oh no. I don't think you're supposed to land on this. I've decided this game is a platformer now. Go up the ramp and get the gold coin. Chicken legs Mario! Jump! And... Jump! Oh, I don't think that one's going to happen. There's totally an early 3D platformer in here. Wait, this rotating platform works just fine. What gives? 
jump over the water. Sweet! Stomp on the mushroom, and... Gold coin! Alright! Uh, what am I looking at here? What is space is supposed to look like? Is the game broken? Well, I can still shoot the computer. I guess that's what really matters. Oh, look at that! We unlocked expert mode! That doesn't mean I have to play it, does it? Ah, we'll give it a try. What's up with this thing? Is that a button? Falcon PUNCH! Ouch! Oh, okay, no, that wasn't it. Can I kick it over? Oh, neat! Alright, how about this one? Is that an arcade cabinet? What am I looking at here? Oh, the pieces fit together. Classic Nintendo puzzle. It's Tall Kong. Kongs are tall. Oh, it's Donkey Kong! Look at that! This game is turning into a platformer so hard, DK just manifested himself to throw barrels at me. Get back here, you big a monkey! Okay, he goes backwards, so we go around behind him to shoot his bag. It's sort of like a Zelda boss, right? They follow a pattern and you figure out how to exploit their weakness. Like Donkey Kong's weakness to lasers! <laughs> Alright, Fantron, let's dance. Ouch! Okay, so he spins his arms and hits me every time, so I need to make use of all range mode and escape while he's winding up. Wait, is his health recharging? Why is his health recharging? Okay, that strategy's not gonna work. I'm out of ideas. Is there a guide? There's no guide. I feel like I need to go backwards without turning around. Is there a reverse gear on this inter-spacecraft? Oh, the brakes! Just pin down those brakes and stay an inch outside of his wingspan. Wow, that made quick work of him. That was somehow even more like a Zelda boss. This is pretty much what a Zelda boss is in the abstract. Solve the puzzle of figuring out what you need to do, and then the execution is relatively easy. Okay, this one is just a Zelda boss. No abstraction necessary. Which pool will you come out of next, weird giant frog? This game draws a lot more from 3D Zelda than I expected. Well, wait. This game predates 3D Zelda by years. Maybe Ocarina of Time draws a lot more from Star Fox 2 than I expected. Do ridiculous chicken legs exist as a stand-in for Link? To experiment with 3D Zelda ideas early so only the best of the best gameplay concepts make it into Ocarina of Time? Put on the metal boots. And take the metal boots off. Metal boots on again. And metal boots off again. There's the switch. Metal boots, back on. Nice. Alright, let's enter this underground dungeon. Take out the statue in the middle of the room that shoots lasers. Can't get to the door switch because it's blocked by pillars of fire. Guess we'll keep exploring. Fight the enemy. What's up here? Oh look! A hidden switch! This fire pillar is off now. Does that give me anything? Oh, did it turn all the fire pillars off? Door switch! Another hidden switch! Oh, it's those things! You can't tell which direction they're gonna go until it's too late. Ouch! Look out, we got an iron knuckle over here. That is a really big shield. Even circle strafe became a Zelda thing, right? What's Z-targeting if not automated circle strafe? CIRCLE STRAFE! Looking quite a bit more coherent than last time, Andros. You really pulled yourself together. Is this the first ever Link floating hands boss? Well, I'm sold. This is totally the earliest 3D Zelda experience made by the dude behind Ocarina of Time. N64 Zelda fans, definitely check this one out. It looks a little silly, but there's totally a 3D Zelda prototype in here, and it predates Ocarina of Time by two years! It was a team effort. Oh, never mind. There's voice acting. This is nothing like Zelda. Do I compromise my principles by using fast travel, or do I accept a life of sitting under trees, absent-mindedly following butterflies, and calling people schmoopy? I know what I have to do.
What's up, my fabulous bestie? Sometimes I get a craving for pasta salad, and nothing, and I mean nothing else will do. A sea bass? No. It's at least a C plus.